Hey guys, it's me, Luke MC, and today I'm here with another admin bypass tutorial video. So in my last video, I showed you guys how to bypass any administrator passwords for certain apps like Steam and such. So that code in that last video is no longer working and um, needs to be changed. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is create a new folder and then name it setup. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm naming mine setup. Open that and then create a new okay i forgot you gotta if if it's zipped you gotta unzip it so you gotta put something in the folder and then extract all and then take that out of there oh no thanks anyways now you can just delete that and just gonna delete that and now in this folder, you want to select, right click, you want to select new text document, name it admin bypass. You can name it whatever you want again, but I'm going to name it this. And then in that note folder, notepad, just type or copy the code I have put in the description. It's just like the last code, only way less of it. It's just set compat layer equals run as invoker and then start. So to use this, you got to make sure you save as in the file. Admin bypass, make sure it's all files. Save as type all files and then dot bat. And then save. And now you can delete this, and then you'll have that. So, I'm going to start Steam. So, the screen might go black, or it might not, I don't know. But, I'm going to go here, and it won't let me. It'll um, just say, uh, Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Steam. Verified publisher value. File origin, hard drive on this computer. Show more details. I'm going to click no for the sake of this video. So go into here, right click that and press edit. And then after start, you want to type Steam Setup. Yes, it is cap sensitive. Then X and then save. You can make sure it actually saved, whatever. And then double click admin bypass. And then Steam will open. Hey guys, I am in the process of editing the video right now. But for those of you who might not believe me because my screen just froze and didn't move until I said I was going to press no and stuff like that. Those of you think it was just editing and it doesn't actually work, that, etc, etc. So just to prove it works, I'm going to go into the setup file. I'm going to... Click on start, or click on Steam setup. This will show up, all right? And then, see, it works. And that's how you do it. So I hope this video helped you, and I uh, hope you consider liking and subscribing if this video did help you. If it didn't, I will be answering questions in the comments for the next maybe 20, no, 48 hours. For the next 48 hours, I will be answering questions. There will, of course, be times when I can't answer questions when I'm like in school or at uh, or sleeping, maybe at a friend's house. Uh, but I will be answering questions in that time or in this time for the next 48 hours and after that i will not be answering any more questions uh 
if you want, you can contact me. I might put my email in the description. And yeah, so join my Discord. That's in the uh, description below. Uh, I have two, one for Minecraft and one for just the YouTube channel. Um, Minecraft Gaming and Luke MCYT. Um, so, if you want to collaborate with me, you can join my Discord server and then DM me. Or you can just uh, email me. That works too. If you want to... Uh... So, I, I'm not very good at editing videos. And I don't have any money. I only have like 80 bucks and I don't have a credit card or anything like that debit card that is um so if you have any free time on your hands and you're bored you can edit my videos if you want just contact me or comment in this video and uh see you next time